When the end begins, who do you want on your right? I'll tell you, my friend, the best champion for this fight. Emerging from the smoke to sweep you on to his freedom steed. Randall is a valiant knight and the hero we need. Born of the union of a god and a mortal. Existing in all time and space, no need for a portal. Flowing locks, all seeing eyes, evil doers will take heed. Randall is a demigod and a leader we need. Our lives have been blessed with Grand Paul and his existence. He's chosen this moment to show us the difference. His choice is the Constitution in each word and in each deed. Pick Grand Paul for president, the leader we need. All right, all right, I'm coming. Hey, y'all, it's your boy Chuck Farley with I Love Rand Paul. Oh, hell. You hadn't even put it on the right thing. Hey, y'all, it's your boy Chuck Farley with I Love Rand Paul. Uh, it's been a while. And uh, I recently, every year, <clears throat> Dr. Rand Paul, he likes to put out his, his Festivus stuff. And I got on my Facebook page at I Love Rand Paul. And it was gone. Deactivated. And I was upset. It's only one reason that I ever got on Facebook. And that was to promote the candidacy of Dr. Ron Paul. Rand Paul, excuse me. Uh, Ron is his father, if y'all don't know. But uh, Dr. Paul was running for a Senate. I mean, president in 2016. He was already a senator. And... <clears throat> and that's that's the only reason I was on there. Don't don't talk about nothing else. And I hadn't even looked at that in a while. And when I did, it was deactivated, and I was upset because I was ready to go ahead and start posting about Festivus and all that stuff. So uh, I reached out to some people. I've been on this podcast before, and uh, I reached out to them and asked them if because they had been canceled on some platform. So I was like, hey, could y'all help me out? And they said, sure. And I guess they reached out to this thing called the Podcast Producers Guild and they got the Facebook page back up. Facebook.com at I Love Rand Paul. And did I say Ron Paul before? I am sorry. I'm winded. Uh, and yeah, tired, I guess. Because uh, this was this has all been very traumatic. But yeah, it's at I Love Rand Paul. So they got my page back and then they said, hey, you've been on the podcast before. We need you to do this. So I don't know what I have entered into, some form of agreement, but it's fine. I, I'm going to come on here and just share some Rand Paul stuff with y'all. And apparently, eventually, one day, my debt will be repaid. So, I guess for now, where is it? Here it is. Is this it? Y'all supposed to do this for me. There we go. We're going to listen to Rand Paul do a rendition of 12 Days of Christmas or something like that. But he changed the lyrics. He made them funny. Twas the week before Christmas, and through the Senate and House, 
Not a creature was stirring, He's gorgeous. Not even a mouse. Look at his eyes. His earmarks were hung by the chin hair. hair in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The in hopes that Rand Paul soon would be there. In their beds, while visions of pork danced in their heads. No budget was found, just mischief and debt. While the taxpayers hung their poor heads and wept. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, senators sprang from their oxygen. What was the matter? Away to the window they flew like a flash, tore open the shutters when they heard the word cash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a 4,000 page omni with endless debt year after year. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment <clears throat> it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now McConnell, now Schumer, Damn. now Pelosi and Vixen, on Biden, on Stupid, Who's Vixen? on Dumber and Blitzen. Who's to Vixen? Debt, to bankruptcy, to free money for all. Now dash away, dash away, more cash for all. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing each little hoof as the economy threatened to run aground down the chimney saint nicholas came with a bound he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot i love this jacket a bundle of earmarks he had flung on his back and a look at that dream i want to touch it his, pack. his eyes how they twinkled his dimples how merry his cheeks were like roses his nose like a cherry that's this you. Spending season, instead of naughty and nice, Santa brought everyone something, regardless of price. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old. That's not you. You're swole. And I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head. He said not to worry. There's always the Fed. <clears throat> he spoke not a word and went straight to his work. Undeterred by the debt, he turned with a jerk. For naughty Pentagon that lost billions last year, a fat stocking with extra cash and cheer. And don't forget a delicious candy can, sweet with $40 billion to tide over Ukraine. Because of the climate, it's not PC to leave coal. No one seems to care because we're trillions in the hole. Don't worry about leaving the budget a mess Democrats have given you. 87,000 agents of the IRS. So St. Nick laid his finger aside his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, his economist agog, <clears throat> the pain with a cup of eggnog. Up and away through the, through the countries in tatters, free stuff for all. Sky high prices don't matter. He said to hell with it and just kept going. Words, he's a little hiccup. He's like, his sleigh, if people lack money, just print. It's okay. I bet Rand's a one take Tony. He just did it one time. He's like, that's it. They're like, but you lit. He's like, I don't care. Bankruptcy to all. Let's go. And to all a good night. Got no time. One shot. To the kids. Oh, I didn't even see this. To the kids at home who might be horrified at this naughty clause, realize this clause has absolutely no relation to the magical Saint Nick. No, this clause is not magical. This clause is that nonfiction Grinch of congressional creation. Children should avert their eyes for now until the inevitable day when they meet this congressional clause who dishonestly left the children to pay the bill. That's something else. He wrote that all himself. Is there more? I don't want to be out of it before you see if there's more. I'm going to look through some of his tweets and see if he has began Festivus. If not, we'll consider the debt repaid for this week. Let me get the hell out of here. And we'll get to Dr. Paul's Festivus stuff maybe next week. Let's see. I wrote and performed my own scary version of Twas the Night Before Christmas. Enjoy. Let's refresh her. Shut it da da has he put anything new? Yeah, still still that. 
It's three days before Christmas, and predictably, Congress is on track to pass yet another $1.7 trillion spending package that no one has had the chance to read. I'll pop back on when Dr. Paul starts his festivist stuff. Maybe that'll satisfy this uh, situation with the Podcast Producers Guild. Like I said, you can check uh, you can check me out. The page is at I Love Rand Paul on Facebook. I'm also on Twitter at I Love Rand Paul. Uh, pretty much anywhere you go, I have grabbed the handle at I Love Rand Paul. Uh, YouTube. I'm there. I will be posting videos there again. You can go back and look at old videos. Go back like nine years to when Dr. Paul was first running for uh, for president. And, uh, yeah. So that's it, man. I, I'll see y'all later. I need some kind of sign-off, right? Like some kind of like, later. When the end begins, who do you want on your right? I'll tell you, my friend, the best champion for this fight. Emerging from the smoke to sweep you on to his freedom steed. Randall is a valiant knight and the leader we need. Born of the union of a god and a mortal. Existing in all time and space, no need for a portal. Flowing locks, all seeing eyes, evil doers will take heed. Randall is a demigod and the leader we need. Our lives have been blessed with Grand Paul and his existence. He's chosen this moment to show us the difference. His choice is the Constitution in each word and in each deed. Pick Grand Paul for president, the leader we need.